All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ again and again and again. I hope my voice is coming good now. Please let me know if you have any problem, and uh, I hope it is it is good. Uh, our topic is about breastfeeding. Uh, now, uh, just to make it clear, I am not against breastfeeding. I mean, <laughs> uh, but breastfeeding for adult. That is a problem. I mean, I encourage actually all females to do breastfeeding for children's, their children's. I believe it's very healthy and it's the best way to do it. But for an adult, I think there's something fishy here and something wrong. Uh, this is a Muslim sheikh. Uh, he called himself Ustaz, which is, I said before, funny how in Indonesia they call themselves Ustaz because Ustaz is not a sheikh. Staz is a teacher, teacher for mathematics, etc., not for uh, religious uh, teaching. But look like this is what uh, I mean. They, they claim that they speak Arabic, so they use the word Ustaz. So Ustaz, he grew a beard, and now he's trying to explain why the Prophet he said breast feeding for adult. As I understand that the title saying in his video breast feeding, okay, how he's an adult. Yet it's a breastfeeding. You see, when we say breastfeeding, it's about feeding somebody. Feeding somebody. And to feed somebody from a breast, the reason for it is because he's a child. He cannot eat. He cannot chew. Uh, he cannot bite. He don't have teeth. But now we have a male in Islam who is a grown man in the same as this guy in the screen, as we see. And this is his channel, so you can go watch the video. So what the point of doing the breastfeeding? This guy, he come with an explanation. In order to cover the scandal of his prophet, he said the following. And I will show you a translation given to me, as I said before, from an Indonesian person. This is not my understanding. This is the translation given to me. I don't speak Indonesian, as you know. Uh, the Ustaz Khalid uh, Basalama explain how uh, how uh, the law of a breastfeeding so Muslims they have a law it's called the law of a breastfeeding for adult praise be to Allah brother we have a law for a breastfeeding for adult no other religion have believed in that only Islam have a law for a breastfeeding for adult okay he said that the scholars the ulama explain about the breastfeeding for adult and he said that Umm Salim uh, uh that in that that was about the case of uh, uh, uh the slave of uh Sahel ibn to suhail he explained that a salim was a slave bought by hudayfa the wife uh, and he become a free uh, become a slave and then she freed him okay he said that uh the sharia law if a free slave uh there he inherit the like the previous owner he inherited this is what he is he's saying so this woman she came into the prophet and she said i want to inherit my slave but i did not do breastfeeding for adult she heard that if you do breastfeeding for adult for a child he became like your son so how i can inherit him according to this guy not according to me that's what he's saying abu she said that abu hudayfa wife complained to the muhammad uh, uh, that, that that at that time this guy he became 19 years old and she said I did not know the law when Salim was a baby I did not do breastfeeding for him now Salim live in my house and he see me without clothes see my hair but he's like my own son then Muhammad said second him and he explained uh the process they she prompt her milk into a, a cup or something or a container and he gave it to salim and we showed you what this guy he meant by this uh, exactly he was saying that this is exactly what happened as we will show you in the screen here according to this guy hmm? that's absolute stupid lie but here I will go with this uh, Ustaz, so we can love together at the cult of Islam. According to the cult leader or teacher, he's saying that in Islam, if a woman, she will inherit you, 
she can give you some milk in a cup and you drink it and that's it she can get your money and if a woman she want to get naked in the front of me and that will not be embarrassing to her no more or what she needs to put some milk in a cup and I drink it I mean this is the most silly stupid religion ever first of all if a man he suckled the breast of women since when he will not be excited sexually because what the purpose of this supposedly you will not think about this woman in a wrong way and since when since when if a woman she give her nipples to a man he will not think about her sexual in a sexual way again that is the most stupid argument ever secondly when you say that she wanted to inherit the person that's additional stupidity and by the way it's not Islamic because in Islam even if you suckle a baby child still you cannot inherit him and we can get you busted from a fatwa here we go this is a fatwa fatwa for those who do not know Islamic answer according the scholars answering according to Allah teaching can a mother through breastfeeding inherit fatwa number three four six six one can a woman who who is a mother through breastfeeding Rida inherit her son through breastfeeding if he dies son from breastfeeding notice son from breastfeeding crazy religion how how a person he will become your son if you do breastfeeding for him Muhammad forbid adoption but now Muhammad saying to you that this person is your son because you did the breastfeeding for him this is adoption stupidity the answer no if a woman she breastfeeding for a child she cannot inherit anything from him so what about a man so the explanation he gave us it's false it is not true it's not even Islamic this is number one number two the husband is jealous from this man the husband of who the husband of this woman he see him in the house and she is almost naked so he's jealous this is why she said I see in the face of Abu Hudayfa sign of disgust why because Salim he enter upon me in the house and almost I am naked the Prophet said suckling so the suckling was not because to inherit the suckling supposedly that will make him unlawful for you but this is not true too because according to Islam if you suckle if a woman she suckle a man still he is lawful for her and I will give you an example my wife is currently if reading our newborn child during sex I drank her milk is her milk halal for me brother Fatwa number 2864. So what happened to this guy? What happened is the following. This guy was having sex with his wife. Hmm. And during the time he was having sex, he put his mouth there and there's some drop of milk come in his mouth and he drank it and now he's worried did she become his sister <laughs> did she become his mother <laughs> what a stupid religion unbelievable Man, man, oh man, the guy is having 10 children from her and now he's worried she became his mom. Why? Because he drank some milk from her breast. Okay. Okay, what is the situation now? The answer. So, he is saying during sex, I drank her milk. Is her milk halal for me? The answer, praise be to Allah. Right away, like, praise be to Allah. I mean, look, the name of Allah is mentioned about sucking in the breast and boobs. We are very conservative people, by the way. We mention the name of Allah even if we are talking about those things. So praise be to Allah. Okay. Let us zoom in so we can show you. 
Before answering this question, brother, we must explain some important point about the ruling and the ahkam, ahkam which means ruling, concerning the breastfeeding for a rida. A breastfeeding is proven in the Quran and Sunnah by ijma, which means all the scholars agree. Hmm? Okay. You see, we are talking about breastfeeding, the, yo the yogurt is done. <laughs> I'm making yogurt. Hold on. <laughs> so, Quran, uh, the Quran of Allah says, interpretation in the meaning: your foster mother who gave you suck, your foster mixed suckling sister. Chapter four, verse number twenty-three. This is the most stupid religion ever. I will have a sister. I will have a mother just because she suckled me. Sunnah Ibn Abbas reported. The Prophet said. What is forbidden by Rida? Rida is not what that guy was saying. As you see, that guy was trying to fool us and says Rida, the woman she gave not her breast, she just gave milk in a cup out. Like she milked herself in a cup. She did not give the man her breast, which is absolutely a lie. As you see, the Muslim themselves, they keep calling suckling, suckling. And even the Hadith says, suckling. The Hadith did not mention milking. Milking in a cup, like a cow. No, the Hadith speak about suckling. And suckling is not the same as milking. So it have to be suckling. And by the way, this is supposed to was a verse in the Quran, but the goat, if you remember, ate it. There was a verse in the Quran that says, any man when I enter upon a woman, he have to suckle her ten times. We go back to the fatwa. So the guy now is worried about what will happen. He suckled his wife's breast. And then he said to him, what is forbidden by Rida, suckling or breastfeeding is the same what is forbidden by Nasab, lineage, Nasab. So, if you suckle from a woman and you are a child, she is forbidden for you. She, you cannot marry her daughter, you cannot, etc., blah, 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 blah. Okay, because she became like your sister. Hmm. The scholar agree, the effect of Rida, and as you see, Rida is not what this guy is saying, putting some milk in a cup, it is a breastfeeding forbids marriage and create relationship of muhram and permit seeing being alone with the people of whom is one related through rida so if a woman one day she gave me her breast i can see her daughter without wearing hijab because now she became equal to my sister this is one of the stupid things in islam for breastfeeding have effect transmitting is a benefit from nursing a woman to a child suckled <clears throat> A breastfeeding must happen within the first two years for a child. But this guy, he suckled the wife when she's adult. Okay. Just to make it short, a breastfeeding have to be at least total number of five. This is for a child. Remember, it was 10 for adult. And then the conclusion, he says, well, in the case of a man, if he suckle, obviously she is not haram for him, which means she's still lawful for you. You can have sex with her. It's clear from this that drinking one wife milk has no effect and does not create a relationship of muhram. So why Muhammad asked the women to give her boobs to this man? As long as drinking the milk or sorry, suckering the milk uh, from the women, because remember this guy, how he drank the milk? He was suckering the, the breast of his wife. He was having sex with her. So as long as drinking the milk, swallowing the milk, from by suckling from a woman will not make any difference. So what the point of the, all of this? Why Muhammad says a woman she can, or he order her to give her breast to a strange man, because Muhammad is a sick man was making fun of you Muslims. And this guy in this video he was trying to give Muhammad an excuse why he is a perverted man, but he failed. He lied when he said that. He did not order her to give to do suckling because the hadith says suckling.
Do you see it? Sakal him. Even in, in the Muslim translation, it says Sakal him. You know what Sakal him means. Sakal him is not giving milk out and drink. That is not Sakal him. Sak. Sakal is coming from Sak. Our Rida is the same. If we go to the Muslim dictionary, we will find exactly the same thing. In the Muslim dictionary, if we search for the word Rida, we will find what the word Sakal mean. Let us go there. All right. This is the Muslim dictionary, as you see. And this is the word Rida. We put the word Rida or Rida in the top. And here the word, noun, Rida. Feeding a baby from the breast. Suckling. It have to be a process of feeding a baby from the breast. If it is not feeding from the breast directly, that is not considered suckling. This is why it says radia, which means radda, radda. You know, radda is to hold something between two things and pushing it hard. And this is what Rida is about. A child he put his uh, his lips, his mouth in the in the in, in the in the nipple of his mother, and he, you know, with his strength as a baby, he bite hard in order to uh, to suckle the milk. But this guy in his video, he was trying to say, no, this is not what happened. She just milk out of his, as if she is a cow, some milk from her breast, and she gave it to him with his coffee in the morning so look what we learn from this that all of this affect nothing in Islam which mean if a woman she gave her breast to a stranger does not change anything it's a stupid even according to the Quran it does not make any difference only if you are a child you the, the women she is considered for you forbidden and her daughter is forbidden for you as simple as that there is no inheritance nothing. but only if you do that when you are less than two years old And that is a Quran. So what Muhammad did here by asking a woman to do that? And not only that, Aisha herself, she ordered her sister to do that too. Sahih Muslim. Muwatta Malik Yahya related to me from Malik from etc that Aisha the wife of the Prophet may Allah bless her bless him and grant him peace admitted those whom her sister and daughters of her brothers had nursed anyone want to see Aisha the Sheikh, he said, this is for the case of Umm Salim only. Why? There's a, there's a law in heaven only for one woman? You see all those stories about the breastfeeding? <clears throat> Let us look for Aisha's story for more. More hadith. And by the way, it have to be 10 time. Which means if you do it less than 10 time, you are not permitted to see Aisha. Here you see in this hadith it says that there's no relationship if the breastfeeding happened for someone over two years old. So what the point? Nothing. It's just stupid. Here Aisha she ordering her nieces to nurse anyone want to enter upon her. Here the story of Muhammad ordering the women to give her boobs to, to the stranger.
אוקיי. את ה-C. Very carefully. Yeah, he related to me from Malik, from, from etc., from, 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 uh, that Aisha, the mother of the believer, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister. This is a man. Aisha, she is ordering her sister, Umm Kathum, to nurse anyone to suckle, not to give a breast in a, like a milk in a cup, like this guy, the liar, he said in his video. This Abdul, Munafiq, Shish Kebab, Harami, Dajjal. Uh, now he will, Abdul will open dictionary to understand what I'm saying. So what Aisha she was doing, she was ordering her sister and her sisters, anyone want to come to see her, he's a man. She have to suckle him 10 times in 10 different days. Read carefully. She said, suckle him 10 times so he can come to see me. The liar in his video, he says, this was only in the case of Umm Salim, or Umm, uh, some, uh, 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 sorry, uh, Sahla. Sahla bin to Suhail. But the fact, as you see, Aisha, she was practicing that, and anyone want to enter upon Aisha, he have to suckle ten times to her sister. The guy he could not see Aisha was not permitted because only he finished three times. I mean, do you see how conservative the Muslims are? Brother, I did only suckle her sister boobs three times. And by the way, suckling, is, it cannot happen just in a second. You have to keep suckling until you are satisfied, which means you cannot take it no more. So we have a religion where we cannot shake hands with women, but we can suckle their boobs. There's a fatwa that says, can a growing man suckle the boobs of his mother? The answer was no. So how he cannot suckle his mother, and she's his, his real mother, but yet a strange man he can suckle from this woman. What a crazy cult. What a crazy cult. Question, can a woman who is mother through breastfeeding Rida inherit so you cannot inherit from this thing she is not considered really your mother and if it is over the age of two years there's no effect whatsoever so what the point of a man going to the sister of Aisha and suckling her boobs and by the way where Aisha she come with this Aisha she's, cre she's a creative now because if Aisha look what Aisha she did Okay, well, men, they want to see me, and I want to see them. So I had to find now a way so I can meet men. We are forbidden to meet them. Okay, I got an idea. The prophet, he told this woman to give her boobs to suck a man so he can come to her house. Suckle him. And if those men, they suckle my sister, well, obviously, I can, you know, for, they can see me too because I am the sister of this woman. If she became forbidden for them, I will become forbidden. But as you see, suckling for someone is over the age of two years old is not going to forbid anything. It does not change anything. It's a lie. So there's no point. It's just a stupid cult trying to fool people. Who in the world would believe in such a garbage? Are you? So please, if you are from Indonesia, download the video immediately. We will not keep it there. And add subtitle. And... Feel free to ask this Abdul, the stars. All of them, they are ustaz. I mean, I am I am the only one who is not ustaz here. Those guys do not know even how to pronounce the name of their prophet correctly, but yet they are called the ustaz. Ustaz. In the Middle East, if you call somebody ustaz, people will, that's mean you are insulting him, by the way. 
The only way you can call someone Ustaz if he is really Ustaz, which means a teacher in a school, a school specifically. If you call someone in the street Ustaz, that means you are saying to him a donkey. You are a donkey. It's like an, uh, you are being uh, uh, like uh, sarcastic. You're, you're making fun of him, Ustaz. All those who teach Islam in Indonesia, their name is Ustaz. And how you became Ustaz? Your prophet himself was not Ustaz. How you are Ustaz? All of them they are Ustaz. And I agree. And actually, you have to be really mentally ill to believe in such a madness. His life now? Well, tell him to come and call me. His life now. <laughs> Anyway, guys, download the video, share it with your friends, and uh, don't forget if you are an uh, uh, Indonesian to add subtitle and let those people. I mean, what? I mean, you tell me what what this is about. What this is a woman? I suckle him. Imagine I have a guy. He is in my house, and I am jealous from him. And then my wife, she go as the prophet, and then my my wife come back, and I find my wife giving her nipples to the guy. And I say to her, what's wrong with you? Why you are giving your boobs to this guy? She will say, man, the prophet says so. The prophet says I should give him my breast. And that supposedly will not make you angry and will make you happy. Yes, this is what he said to her. He said, if you do that, your husband will not be angry no more. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this before? The husband will not be angry because the whole point is what? He is disgusted. This husband is disgusted. Disgusted of what? On entering of Salim. So the guy is disgusted because Salim, he see his wife in the house. And now the solution is we let our wife give Salim her boobs. And then Salim, he suckle it. And that supposedly will solve the problem. Praise be to Allah, brother. The problem is solved, brother. After today, I will never be jealous from Salim, brother. Because now he suckled the boobs of my wife, brother, and I was watching. Actually, he took a selfie with it, and I, he posted a selfie in Facebook. All of us, we knew that such a move will encourage the urge of a man for sexuality, not the opposite. Since when? A woman give her breast to a stranger he will not think about her in a sexual way you are right that is the most stupid cult ever and you know what I challenge any Muslim to practice Islam I want to see Muslims opening their doors to all the neighbors there's a woman she is at a TV host in Egypt she asked the Sheikh life on air so are you saying that I have to suckle all those who work with me in the studio? He said, yes. She said, the engineer, the electrician, the decor, the, the decor you know, the, the, uh, uh, the, the audio engineer, the video engineer, the editing engineer, the lighting engineer, all of them, I have to suckle them? He said, yes. You have to suckle them all. Then she said, if I go to the train, are you saying I have to suckle all the men in the train in order to be allowed with them? He said, yes. In the bus, he said, yes. In the taxi, the driver, he had to suckle you too. So why you wear clothes and why you don't let your, your breast come in out when walk in the street and let everybody suckle it? And then when this guy, he, he said that, the Muslim went crazy in Egypt, by the way, because they could not believe it, but this is Islam. You see, the ignorant who do not know Islam, they thought this guy is mad. He is the head of the department of the Hadith in the Azhar University, the higher Islamic school in the world. He was saying to them, what's wrong with you? Why you went upset from me? This is what the Prophet said. This is what the Prophet said. I, I, did, not, I did not make things up. But because they are ignorant, they could not believe it that in Islam there is such a thing. Breastfeeding. For adult, fatwa, we search Prophet Google, peace upon him. Each time those fatwas come in the surface, Muslims get upset. 
because they cannot handle the truth. But this is the truth. This is what Islam teach. And by the way, when the Hadith says that a, a goat ate the breastfeeding for adult chapters, I don't believe that. Maybe the goat ate some of the Quran, but why only those verses are, are gone? Things, things have to do with sex. The verses of a stoning and of a breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. So how the Quran is protected and now we cannot have those verses? Where are those verses? Well, the goat ate them. I believe the one who ate them is the Muslims because they are ashamed of their prophet and they decide to hide it. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me Allah he could not stop a goat from eating his book? And now because of the goat, Miss Goat, Miss, Miss goat who miss eat the Quran. I mean, look how selective this goat. She flipped the pages. I mean, was the, was this is the first page in the Quran? Breastfeeding for adult? How she how she pick up this page? And how and and how a goat ate or uh, let us say she ate like a, a guy by the way is a, a goat can eat the whole book by the way there's no way she ate only one page and even one page one page have only one line there's many lines should be there so how many verses how many chapters are eaten we do not know and yet the Muslim they say to us that Quran is a preserved I wish it was preserved this is the, my favorite verse in the Quran. I'm really upset from that goat. I, if I know where this goat, I'm going to go and shoot her. This stupid goat. I wish we have this verse. We will die laughing still until now. Look now what we have. We have this hadith because of this goat. I mean, this is not even fair. I want to see the wisdom of Allah. I want to see the how Allah the wise he made such a verse. Give your breast for adult ten times and let him suckle it. You are right. This is why I told you once I want to open drive through a business in Las Vegas. It's called the Breastfeeding for Adult Islamic Islamic Breastfeeding for Adult. <clears throat> but none of you is supporting me in the project. Otherwise, this project can make a lot of money. Imagine how many hungry Muslims go to Las Vegas. They are willing to do breastfeeding drive through suckling. We make windows with sizes. Like the bend in the money you pay, if you want make big suckling or small suckling, so like you like we we accept a credit card. Drive it through. We make windows. Let me make it simple for you. Most of you are naive. You don't know. You have nothing to do about sex. You know we are we are the one who educate everything about everything anything. Specific specifically when it's come about sex, we know everything. Not like those who are Western idiot. Even Pink Panther no more than them. Look, brother, we make a drive through And here, those windows, from every window, brother, we have uh, this. Uh, sorry, guys, this woman, her breast is not level. Okay. And then we put another woman here. And now there is size, if you notice, the size of change. And by the way, the reason we will make them up and down. So the men, they will see there is an action, like it's not like just one level. So the man who is standing here, he can see all kind of a breast and he can choose where he will stop. Because they are not one level, you see, he can see them still. And then before he arrive, we will have uh, a pay a machine here, uh, uh, owned by the Jews, brother. Because it's, we cannot have Islamic uh, credit card. It have to be owned by the Jews. So we will have a credit machine here. You slide the crowd, a credit card, the crowd, rear a crowd here, and then you start the breastfeeding after you are approved. You go and then you show the receipt. For the, we have a guy here standing. He want to see the receipt. All right, and then he will point his finger at which window. Those are the nipples. Which windows you can stop and you can suckle. But nobody want to support me in my project, sadly. And God knows now, I mean, Allah knows now, how many uh, Muslims will steal my idea and they will open uh, 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 
breastfeeding for adult suckling in Las Vegas. Okay, I hope nobody will see my, my uh, idea and do the business. Islam is very uh, open religion. It's a hippie religion. You, see, you know, yes, we wear, we we force the women to wear burqa, but as you see, her boobs are flying by themselves. They shake hands with everybody. What a crazy, stupid cult! Thank you guys for uh, watching. Don't forget to download the video. This video will be taken exactly after forty minutes from now. So download it, repost it before we take it. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you and excuse me for the language I use, but I have no choice. This is how stupid this cult is. And we do not sugarcoat anything. We say it as it is. If you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, you can search my books in Amazon, Amazon.com, Spanish, German, uh, even Swedish, Dutch, etc., French. Uh, we have it in many languages and more languages to come. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.